In the question number 3, we are asked to find a false statement among the 4 given statement. The statement, statement number 1 says a real state can be used as a potential divider obviously which is a correct statement. In statement 2, Kirchhoff's second law represent energy conservation. In fact, it is based on energy conservation that means it is also a correct statement. Third one is Wheatstone bridge is the most sensitive when all the 4 resistance are of the same order of magnitude. This is also a correct statement. Now, the fourth is one that is in a balanced wheat stone bridge if the cell and the galvanometer are exchanged the null point is disturbed. This is definitely a false statement. To understand this consider a circuit which I am drawing. Condition of wheat, uh, condition of balanced wheat stone bridge according to this diagram must be the ratio of R1 and R2 should be equal to ratio of R3 and R4. That means to balance this wheat stone bridge R1 by R2 must be equal to R3 by R4 to get the zero current in the galvanometer. Now, since galvanometer is arranged between between A and C and battery is arranged between B and D therefore, from this arrangement the condition of balanced Wheatstone bridge it will be given by R1 by R3 must be equal to R2 by R4. We can easily see that both equations are same that means the false fourth statement is a false for a false statement and therefore, it is a correct one. The correct option is option number 4. In the question number 4, we are asked to find percentage error in the value of surface tension. The expression for this is also given in the same question that is T equals to R at D by 2 into 10 to power 3 Newton per meter. Now, diameter of the capillary must be equal to twice of the radius of the capillary. Therefore, we can write the surface value of surface tension as T equals to d h g by 4 into 10 to the power 3 Newton per meter. To get the fractional error or percentage error in surface tension, we can find it by using this formula that is delta T by T equals to delta D by D, delta H by H, delta G by G, where delta D is the least count error. Here in this question, it is equal to 0 0.01 because the value of d is 1.25 into 10 to power minus 2 meter sorry the value of delta d is 0 0.01 into 10 to power minus 2 meter and the value of d is 1.25 into 10 to power minus 2 meter. In the same manner value of delta h is equal to 0 0.01 into 10 to power minus 2 because its value is 1.45 into 10 to power minus 2 meter. Since value of g is given in the question that means delta g by g must be 0. By putting these values in the question we get the percentage error delta t by t into 100 equals to percentage approximately 1.5 percent. Therefore, the correct option is option number 4. This is a fact based question which is, which is given in the NCRT and it is given that uh, the 3 frequencies which are contained by the modulated wave are uh, having frequency omega c plus omega m, omega c minus omega m and the third one is omega c. That means, the frequency which is not contained in the modulated wave is omega m. Therefore, the correct answer is omega n and the correct option is option number 3.